everybody, David Dilling from Markswear, and today we're going to get into a little bit of the shape shifting, not really shape shifters, but you know, the new tool from Adobe called the Shaper Tool. It's an illustrator in the CC 2015.2 release of their you know, latest release, just out 30 November 2015. And that will allow you to manipulate shapes in a new and intuitive way that's really cool, and I think you're going to really like it. So I'm going to let you check it out now, and later on I'll let you see how Flight Check can help you in this department as well. All right, here we have the uh, 2015.1 release of Illustrator CC 2015, and you'll notice here there is no new Shaper tool. So we got to get the new update to get the Shaper tool, and it should show up here. Let's go do that. Now, new in the new Illustrator. 2015.2 release just came out 30 November 2015. Uh, nifty little uh, new open open dialog. I'm gonna create a new document. That's eh, fine. And you'll now see here the Shaper tool shows up right here, where it just wasn't a moment ago. And it's really neat. You can just go in and you know draw and on the trackpad here you can just draw shapes like this and of course like this and like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It'll do a great job of guessing what I was trying to do. And there you go, like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. And of course, you can go in and uh, add the proper color scheme. And uh, of course, we'll make this. Yeah, you see where I'm going with this one, huh? Make this a little bit that color. There we go. And we'll make here a, um, a circle. And then we're going to make uh, another circle. Or actually, we're going to go like this. And then what you can do is this side, or it will cut out this side. If you go from the top, it'll cut out the other side. And you just go like this. Whoops. Right, there we have it. And now you can, of course, go in there and go like this and add in. Now, what's cool is any time you can actually see if you hover over, you'll see the other objects, and you can always go back in and double click, and you can go in and edit these objects to, uh, for example, make it a little bit bigger. So that's pretty neat. So the live live elements you can adjust. So that's pretty neat. Now obviously if you're an experienced designer you can or illustrator you can do a lot more with this. I mean you can make some amazing um, shapes and this, that and the other. I'm just gonna throw some text in here real quick and you can you don't have to see this. We'll just see the final. We'll take the native illustrator file with the shaper tool test. We can drop it on flight check and get a full pre flight report and package to file. The beauty of FlightCheck is it's standalone. You don't need any of the applications open or even on the system to check the file. In this case, it's useful to have Illustrator on the system because we can go back and do edits if so need be. And we'll show you how that works in a moment here. There we go. And you'll see we have some uh, things that we want to be flagged as an error. You can, of course, adjust all this in your ground controls to be an error or a warning for instance, images section. And I added some other images in here uh, just, to, just to show you can also have, you know, images can be checked and collected or packaged. But what um, and you see here, it sees the three elements that we made with the shaper tool. One, we, uh, two, we merged together to be one, and two, we have separate. So that's kind of neat. And if we go in uh, to the main screen of flight check, we can see here the three um, elements three objects is what they actually are. And if we go to the page layout, and I'm just going very quickly over flight check, you know, we go in much deeper. You can see exactly where the problems are, and if you can then go in and actually fix the things via the launch document feature in flight check. So a great way to check things out, standalone, outside of the game itself, so to speak, and then go back in, in this case, into Illustrator CC 2015.2 release. Kind of like this uh, 
splash screen. Reminds me of David Bowie for some reason. So that's Flight Check, a great way to check your Illustrator native artwork, but also the resulting PDF or PSD files or whatever it might be you export. You can also package or collect the entire job with all fonts and images used. Very useful, even compressing the job into one folder for you, uh, into one zipped up file for you. Extremely cool, handy to have on your desktop. Flight Check version 7.7 .7 for the Mac. So, if you want to try the full 30-day version of Flight Check yourself, just download it right here, right now. It's real simple, easy. You can check it out. Fully use the product, pre-flight package, Illustrator, uh, Photoshop, InDesign, EPSs, TIFFs, you name it, pretty much. And we can check it for you and help you um, package and give it a full quality control stamp before sending it on to the next person in the workflow, or worse yet, to the printer. Thank you. This has been David Dilling from Marksware, wishing you a fantastic day.